In this video, we will introduce our latest work, H3 Mapping, a real-time dense mapping system that employs the hierarchical hybrid representation with quasi-heterogeneous feature grids. Recent advances in implicit online dense mapping have led to high-quality reconstructions, showing promise for wide applications. However, existing methods face a bottleneck in real-time performance due to the slower optimization of texture compared to geometry. Uniform feature grids, commonly used in NERF-based mapping for their fast querying capabilities, treat the texture complexity in a spatially homogeneous manner. However, in indoor scenes, texture complexity is non-uniform. For instance, walls commonly comprise weak textured regions, while blinds, grout lines, and wooden furniture often exhibit stripes with both high and low frequency directions. Therefore, Allocating a large number of feature grids in the low frequency direction and weak textured areas can be redundant. This is because optimization updates only propagate to grids where the samples are located, making it hard to sufficiently optimize all of them with limited sampling and training time in online mapping tasks. Aiming to design a faster and more accurate mapping method, especially for enhancing texture optimization efficiency, our proposed quasi-heterogeneous feature grids inherit the fast querying ability of uniform grids while adapting to various levels of texture complexity. Therefore, even with a small number of sample points, the entire region can be effectively trained. Specifically, within each octree's leaf node voxel, we first classify the texture into three categories. First, rich textured area with low frequency directions. Second, weak textured area. And third, unstructured rich textured area. Depending on the texture pattern, we apply the corresponding space warping to construct quasi-heterogeneous feature grids. Then, we use different hash functions to alleviate the conflict problem if warped to the same space. Lastly, features from various warping functions are concatenated to be equal length and fed into a small MLP to predict the color. To realize higher mapping quality, we propose the gradient-aided coverage maximizing strategy for keyframe selection. It enables the selected keyframes to have a closer focus on rich textured areas and a broader scope for weak textured regions. To evaluate the mapping quality in real-time performance, we conduct experiments in the real world, with all programs operating on a handheld device. Here is an experiment on replica dataset, comparing our method with three existing works, PointSlam, ESLAM, and H2 mapping. The other evaluation results further demonstrate our methods perform better across all geometry and appearance metrics. Thanks for watching.